Hi Ed and Julie. Hope your trip's going well. Here's the front of the home. Things looking good. We just insulated today. We got the two homes next door coming along nicely. Customers for 702 are very happy to meet you guys. Looks like we got paint on and all the shingles done. I'll try to take us into the front door here. So we've got our two switches right where we walked in. Outlets in the office. It looks like a data line with a plug next to it. Another outlet there. Uh, looks like we got a cable, another outlet. Another one there. And switches there. And again, we're uh, blocked for a ceiling fan that'll go up here. You got your air register and your jump duct. And uh, yes, that window will be fixed too. That metal strap you see there is uh, it's called X bracing. Uh, that that strengthens up the frame uh, required by code. So we do have the art niche right there in the front. Uh, recess can above it you've got a sm uh, blue thing is a smoke detector and above will be the uh, hanging light for the entry we'll go ahead and go into the hallway here got two switches this is your uh, that's the frame for the pocket door looks like we've got another uh, switch here Oh, I'm sorry, right here on the right, uh, that red line uh, is for a uh, security keypad. That's what that, uh, see that SKP, that's what that stands for. You have two drops in the house. Powder room, uh, water lines right behind where the commode will go. And then this is where your pedestal sink will go. So you can see that you got your drain lines and that other uh, pipe on the right actually goes all the way upstairs so just keep that in mind if you're ever hanging anything there utility room so that's your vent right there for your dryer the black pipe is a gas line if you do get a gas dryer there's the gas shutoff with the red knob those two are your water lines for the washing machines so uh, take note of where all these blue lines on the floor are because that's going to let you know where the pipes are in the walls. So, again, if you ever hang anything, so you know where they are and try not to hit them. Then you'll have an air register in here and then a light above. And then again, that's all blocking there for the cabinets. Let's head back out. So we've got uh, your hall closet. That's what that space is right there. You can see we'll take the wood all the way into the hall closet. Get you oriented here again. So walking into the family room and the kitchen. This will be the island. And just as a reminder, you got your dishwasher on the left. Sink base, that's what SB is. Trash pull out. No drawers. Let's see, oh, full door fronts, no drawers, island only. So left side here, that's going to be for your vent hood. Good to know that you have all that behind the wall. So if you guys ever change your vent hood, uh, you've got space there to move the location of that actual vent. The blue thing there is a plug for the vent hood. All of those blue boxes on the sides are your plugs that will be in your backsplash. That gray one is, uh, will be for the, that will also be in the backsplash. 
over there at uh, fridge space. You've got, uh, looks like uh, the blue one that's vertical is a dedicated for the fridge space. And here's our cabinet layouts. I think you guys saw that before you left. Those three will be switches. We've got our under cabinet lights, UCL. And that'll be the gas shutoff for your range. And it'll be located inside a cabinet. And then that is your pantry. That uh, blue box that's facing the other way will be the switch inside the pantry. So reminder right here, uh, you told us to do a counter depth refrigerator enclosure. So uh, again, maybe before you buy that fridge, let's just make sure that you know uh, what size it to get. Recess can lighting. That's kind of a view back into the kitchen ceiling, so you can kind of see what you got going on there. And then again on the island. So this back side of the island, I believe, is going to be sheetrock. So do note where those pipes are right there, so you don't ever hit them with a nail. So view back into the living room. We've got those double doors installed insulated nicely fireplace nice and low so let's see we've got uh, three switches right there up above it looks like we've got a uh, that's gonna be I believe doorbell and maybe motion detector for your uh, security system one could also be a smoke detector up there too I'm not sure which one it'll be those are all your home runs and then your conduit for your low voltage and then uh, that blue box is going to have four plugs on it. That one right there is for the subwoofer and see all the white wires that are zigzag that's your uh, surround sound pre-wire and then it looks like you got a conduit run over here and the blue box is your outlet to plug your TV into. Take note of where that uh, all that wood is because that'll be a good place to easily screw your TV mount onto. That is the uh, switch for the fireplace that you asked us to move, and then the uh, wires that you needed. Let's see if you can see that white wire. Actually goes down behind the pink stuff, back across here and then goes outside. I know you can't see it behind the insulation, but it's it's there. I'll go around outside so you can see it. Let my camera adjust here. So if I spin around here, that's where everything's coming out. And then you've got an electric outlet right next to it. Over here we have that other electric outlet, and then I believe that's your gas outlet for the barbecue. And while we're on the back porch, I'll back up a little. The trim came out real nicely. That's what we decided to do uh, to fit your retractable screens. And then really kind of mirrors the look of the other side. Outlet in the ceiling for your uh, retractable screens. And there's the other one. And then that's how the column came out on that side. Obviously, that'll be painted to match. Okay, I'm going to end this video just so it doesn't uh, take too terribly long to upload. And then I'll restart a second one and we'll walk into the master.